Good afternoon. I'm calling it. It's officially summer here in Seattle. Today, a short video unapologetically shot in portrait mode. I won't be there, but graduation at UW is this weekend. Congratulations to my friends and my colleagues who are moving on to new things, who are getting degrees. Congratulations. It's a huge accomplishment, and you all deserve them. Even though in astronomy, we often don't celebrate the master's degree, I got a standalone master's degree, and it was a huge deal for me. So even if you're getting a master's degree as part of your PhD, really, congratulations, it's a big deal. So the question I'm sure you're getting asked a lot is, what are you doing this summer? I have a longer video in the works uh, discussing what you can do and what academics often do during the summer. Here's my one piece of unsolicited advice if you were getting ready to go into grad school or become a postdoc. If you can, take the summer off. I didn't take the summer off between my master's program and my PhD program. In fact, I moved up here early so I could get started on projects with the idea that maybe I'd take a little bit of time in September off, and, and of course it never happened. I just worked straight through the summer and then straight into the year. And the summer after my PhD, the IAU meeting was in Hawaii, so I was there for two weeks, which was fantastic, but I only was able to take a couple days off in the middle, and I didn't really take a break. I've taken a few vacations over the last 10 years, at most a week-long trip, but especially if you were heading into grad school and you have the opportunity to just take a month or two off. This may be one of the last times in your life you're able to do this. And really the best preparation you can do for your PhD program is arrive with a clear head. That's it today. Congratulations to all those people earning degrees, moving on, uh, even if it just seems like an intermediate step in the long chain. 